League of Legends casters being kind of stomped on by Riot has been a hotly debated topic over the past few months, and I wanted to help shed some light on it because let's be honest, casters are some of the most talented people that work in esports, and to put it shortly, the broadcast wouldn't be possible without them. During a three hour podcast, Monte Cristo, who's a former caster for League, recently made these comments. The numbers justify it, like these people should be getting big salaries. I mean, to be fair, I was being paid better than the LCS casters back in the day because Riot was not paying them very much money. <laughs> <laughs> and I was much better at negotiating, right? <laughs> so, but you know, that's not true anymore because they just put a, I mean, Riot is a monopoly, so they just cap all the casters' wages. So they can just do whatever they want now. There is no negotiating. You just have to take whatever they give you and say, please, sir, can I have another? I mean, they don't even pay, they don't even pay casters more for international events at this point in time. Yep. What they, what Riot tells casters these days is like, do you want to do worlds? You're taking the same day rate that you get for your domestic league, uh, but also you're gonna have to fly somewhere for a month and like live there and, you know, sucks to be you, basically. You can't negotiate with us, it's over. And unfortunately, a lot of the casters are are too big of cowards to actually just stand together and say, well, if you don't negotiate, none of us are gonna do it. That's the play, but they won't do it because uh, because they're, they're, they're little, little cowards. If you're wondering what he's referring to at the end, allegedly Monte Cristo did try to make a casters union back in the day, but it didn't take. To add to this, around three months ago, DOA responded to a Monte Cristo tweet saying this, I can add to this that I've heard from people within Riot and from people at companies that have produced events for them that at times Riot has mandated caps on caster day rates. Pretty sure it should be the broadcast company's job to decide talent pay. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt, but this should be illegal because it's a form of wage fixing. Formal definition, when companies in the same industry conspire or agree to suppress employee earnings below the market rate. The only reason I can think of that Riot's getting away with this is because they technically own the IP so they can bend the rules a little bit, but I mean either way, it sucks to see billion dollar corporations sucking every penny from talent who got the game to where it is today. That's my little rant for the day, I just thought I'd try and shed some light on the situation. If you enjoy staying up to date with League news, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.